Hey everybody, um, some places that I've noticed you, you guys have had some trouble is with citations. So back to the exemplar that I have for you guys. Um, here I have listed my citations. So for example, I have Zello, I have um, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, and I have a uh, glass door all open. Um, I've put these guys in these tabs up here, along with a special tab called um, Scribber, and this is their APA citation generator. I did put that into your initial piece, but we can um, make sure that you guys know this, right? Scribber.com slash citation slash generator slash APA. APA is the standard that I had asked for you guys um, to follow. <clears throat> okay, so let me show you what that looks like. Uh, so here's my uh, UX designer reference from Zello. I can just grab this URL, control C, and then I can drop it in here and just put that there. And cite. And then um, I'll just click on that. Uh, and there it is. So here's my reference. Um, I could copy this to clipboard and then go back to my research paper and we'll just paste it in here like it's a new thing. So this is my citation. So it looks just like the one up here. So I got rid of that tab and then um, I just hit the underline here. Anyway, that's pretty much what I'm looking for when it comes to citations. So whatever you used, whatever you referenced, I want you to go to that page and do exactly like I did right here. That's all you need to know. I hope that helps you guys because citations and um, papers are important. So even though this is just kind of going to go at the end, at least it's something for you to kind of get used to um, and be aware of when you write papers for English. I'm sure that they're asking for citations on information as well. So, and hopefully they use the APA standard, but if they don't, um that's you know they'll tell you how to do it all right so this is just something that gets typically done if you have any questions let me know thanks